I got started in drumming actually at my, um, my high school that I went to. I went to a military academy and they have a Scottish pipe band. So I actually started drumming there, um, playing snare, basically just line snare stuff. So that's like where I first started drumming. And then beyond that, um, it's basically because of the people that I know, because of this place, this space. Um, I met the people in my band through uh, my roommate at the time, Brian, and then through a bunch of stuff, ended up being in this in the band and picking up drums, that kind of thing. Basically, um, it's a there's a band out of Des Moines, and the, their drummer hooked me up. Like he sold me the set, and once I had the set, I just started practicing. That's the rest of it is history, I guess. The Mumford's tour is easily one of the best experiences of my life. Um, I mean, I went on tour with them before, back in the spring. It was like a week tour. This tour was about, well, it was about twice as long for me. It's a six week tour. I didn't get to go on the whole thing. Uh, but the two weeks that I did go on were absolutely fantastic. Uh, we went through, started off playing, our first show was in Fairfield, which uh, the band that we tour with, Utopia Park, and I also play set. <laughs> as you preface, I guess, I'm auxiliary percussion in Mumford's and I play set with Utopia Park, at least on tour. So we went to Fairfield, um, played our first show there, and then from then it was uh, Chicago, Columbus, Ohio, Pittsburgh, a um, bunch of shows in like northern New York, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way, Ithaca and Rochester and Worcester and stuff like that. And then we played two shows in NYC, um, one show in Boston, and two shows in Philly. And then my last show was in uh, Arlington, Virginia. And then uh, for the rest of them, they, they continued down the coast through North Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, all that stuff. I really like blues. Um, I guess I would say I tend towards more simple music. There's a lot of influence, like nowadays, on drummers being really technical and really, you know, fast and stuff like that. But I think sometimes that leads to the drumming being taking over the song. And I think it's really good to get back to some more fundamental type of stuff and just play really well what you do play. And it's more effective. I mean, you can be playing, I've seen, you know, it's like you watch The White Stripes or whatever, Meg White plays really, really simple stuff, but she really means everything that she plays and it's really easy to get into what she's, you know, playing. Because she's not showboating.